Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this video and well, this is a pretty unusual video from what I usually do because I mostly create videos about smartwatches and from time to time smartphones. But I wanted to make this video and go off on a tangent a little bit because I wanted to show my appreciation towards Samsung Notes and how much this app has improved over the years. And recently Samsung Notes have crossed billion downloads on the Play Store, which means there are quite a lot of Galaxy users out there. And I believe that not everyone is using Samsung Notes to its full potential. So in this video, I will show you some of the most amazing things this app can do and how intuitive it is. Let's get started. Samsung Notes is a very extensive app and there is a lot of stuff to talk about here. So for the purpose of simplicity and understanding, I have divided this video into four sections. And here are the four things that I'll be talking about. PDFs, how you can import them and what can you do with them in Samsung Notes app. Then we have notes and everything that you can do with notes. We'll talk about that. Then we have paint section on Samsung Notes as well, where you can do quite a lot of fun stuff. And I will talk about that. And finally, there are some extra features, some cool features, which I would like to mention as well in the end. So without any further delay, let's get started. First thing that I want to talk about is PDFs and how you can import them and what can you do with the PDFs on Samsung Notes. As you can see that we have a PDF button right here at the top. If we tap on it, it will take us to our file manager. And from here we can browse through, we can search as well and select the PDF that we want. It will be imported into Samsung Notes like this. So once we have a PDF here, there is some really cool stuff that we can do. Now, if I tap on it with an S Pen, if you have a Note device or S21 Ultra, we have S Pen support here, right? So you can do that. Otherwise, you can tap it with your finger. So if you tap on it, it will take us into the uh, PDF mode here. So once here, you can actually select the pen and you know, you can select the pen type, you can change the size, select the color. So let's say I'll select this pen and then you can write on it or whatever. But what I use these PDFs for is highlighting, right? So if you have a book that you're reading or you have a specific PDF that you want to read, you can mark it up or whatever. What I like to do is highlight it, right? So we can go in the highlighter section here and tap on it. And then we have four different types of highlighters here. Now this is really fun stuff. So if I select this one, you can see that uh, there is a wavy line beside it. So what this means is that if I decide to highlight this section, I can move around my pen and it will move around along with it. But then if I select this one and we'll change the color as well, you can see that there is a straight line this time. So now, if I'll highlight something, it will do so in a straight line. There will be no curves or stuff like that. I can move it around, but it will stay a straight line. Now, very helpful. I love this feature. You can also change the size. So make it smaller, but it will help you mark up everything that you want to mark very precisely. Again, we'll select the next highlighter. So this one is a more, you know, rounded off and we have a wavy line. So I guess you already know where I'm going with this now. Again, we, we can move around while highlighting, right? And then if I select the next one, we have a straight line here again. So I'll change the color. And now, again, we can highlight stuff in a straight line. So there you go. Very fun, very cool, very useful stuff. I love this. You can have your PDFs imported in Samsung Notes and then highlight stuff. You can, you know, mark things up here as well. So you can do all this stuff on PDF in Samsung Notes, all for free. I had to buy a Good Notes app on my iPad to do this stuff, but you can do it all on Samsung Notes if you have a Galaxy device. Better so if you have a Note device for free. It's amazing and it's really fun. I really like it. Another really cool feature here is of the eraser here. So if I tap on the eraser, and tap on it again, I'll get two options. So we have area eraser and stroke eraser. So if I select area eraser, I can change the size of the eraser. So let's make it this big. Now I can precisely erase whatever I want to erase and leave off everything else. But if I select stroke eraser and I'll do just this and it will erase everything. So if I just to that it will erase the whole line so that's the stroke eraser then we have some other features here that i will be talking about in the next section so let's go ahead and talk about note taking there is quite a lot of stuff that you can do when it comes to note taking so if we go in here and if you don't have an s pen that's all right you can simply tap on this keyboard button actually if you don't have an s pen this is how it will come up by default so 
let's type something here so you can type it you can put check boxes ahead of it so you can make lists you can add title here as well that also goes for you know uh, PDFs you can do that with PDFs as well so we have some editing features here so you can make it bold italic and have all these different uh, you know dotted menus and numbered menus here then we have font color that you can change font background that you can change you can change the size and then this is my favorite feature which is S Pen to text so if I tap here and I write something here it will convert it into text so it's pretty good if you do some joint writing stuff also I think you should be doing it in a straight line now if I tap on this button we go again into the S Pen mode where you can use the pen you can use the highlighter once again the things that I've showed you in PDFs you can use the eraser and then there is something called selection mode so this is something really important so let's try it out now if I write something here I can go in selection mode I can select it and then I can resize it and I can also move it I can cut it copy paste delete change style and do all this stuff here and then we have this feature here called convert to text so if I tap on it it will identify anything that I have handwritten on this page and then convert it into text so if I tap on it it will detect two hellos and convert them into text and I can copy them or whatever moving on we have our neat shapes so this is again a very cool feature so if I draw something here a circle and move my S Pen it will convert it into a perfect shape so we'll do the same for a triangle a rectangle a square a line as well so you can do this pretty cool stuff on Samsung notes now one important thing here is that you can actually zoom in and out of these notes as well so you can zoom in 600 percent and then change the font and then write in something squeeze it in between your notes and zoom out and we'll be there now if I tap on this three dot menu here we will see some more features so we can share our notes we can save as files so this is again a very important feature if I tap on it it will provide us with several formats that you can export this file in Samsung notes file we have PDF file format Microsoft Word Microsoft PowerPoint image file and text files so you have got some powerful stuff going on here we have this insert option if I tap in here you can add in any image you can take photos from the camera you can add in PDFs you can scan anything straight into the note app and you can record your voice here and it will record whatever along with the notes if there is something that you want to mention something important you can do that and you can stop it then we have drawing which will be the next thing that I want to talk about and text box that you can put in here and start typing in the text box so there it is that's the note taking section of Samsung notes I hope I've covered a lot of stuff here and you can do a lot of this stuff with S Pen if you have a note device and if you don't have a note device you don't have S Pen you can do it with your finger as well now let's move on and talk about the paint feature so if I create a new note go in here and select drawing we're in the paint feature now so we can select different brushes and different pencils and stuff from here and we can also you know change the size from here and then we can select different colors so I'll select yellow here now if we draw something on of this canvas with the paintbrush and then select a different color so I'll select red here and paint over it you will see that it will blend in with the color it's very natural very good and so it turns into orange so you can mix and match and create some really cool illustrations with the drawing feature of Samsung notes and then you can obviously go in and select a blending tool here and you can blend up got a lot of stuff here now this is not a pro level stuff obviously but uh, there is enough here to get you started up and then you can post your creation directly to the penup app now finally let's talk about some of the extra features that I want to talk about here so first of all if you long press on a note you can lock it as well so simply lock it and it will not show up only the title that you'll put in will show up and when you try to unlock it it will require your fingerprint then you can also change the page template in Samsung notes so if I create a new note here go in here we can go in page template and from here you can simply change different uh, styles for the pages here so 
I select this one, we'll get this one. And then we can go in settings and here you can sync up your notes on Samsung Cloud. So if you're using a Samsung account, your Samsung notes will sync up on every Galaxy device. You can also sync them to Microsoft OneNote. You can also create and manage folders here. You can create folders into folders and add more folders, change their colors as well. So you can do that. Then we have page style and template that we have seen just now. So you can change uh, it to individual scrolling or infinite scrolling. You can change the template. So we'll select this one and then you can change the color as well. So once all has been done, you can go in here and you'll have a new template and a new color and an infinite scrolling page. Then we have um, import data feature and you can import stuff from your phone, your Samsung account, Drive and you know more Samsung accounts. And we have some really cool stuff going on in this advanced section here. So we have uh, show links and notes, show web reviews and action icons and hide navigation bar as well. So I'll turn this off right now. Uh, for the purpose of making this video but anyways you can see web reviews if you uh, you know put a link in your uh, samsung notes and share it from any other app so it will show up as a web preview and then there are action icons so you can call numbers send emails solve equations and go to websites straight from uh, several icons that will appear next to them so we'll try this feature out so as you can see here i have just shared amazon's link from my chrome browser to my samsung note app and this is how it appears it will show as a web preview and then uh, let's try out some other things here as well so if i type in a web address and then go back and if i hover my s pen over it i hope it detects it and tap on it it will launch the website directly so you can do this stuff on samsung nodes same goes with numbers so uh, let's type in a random number so there you go and if i go back it will not happen in when you are editing the notes or writing the notes you have to go back so if you hover your s pen you will see this phone icon and you can tap on it and make the call straight from the notes app same goes for any equations that you will write down so Let's say we'll write down 4 plus 5 plus 3 equals and then go back and hover my S pen over it. We'll see this calculator icon, tap on it and it will take me straight to calculator. So all of this comes under action icons. So that was something that we we're just looking at. If uh, this is not working for you, make sure to check from the settings that your action icons option is turned on and then finally you can go in this section here and you can go through your old format notes your favorite notes your lock notes your frequently used notes you can share notebooks so you can go in here you can create a notebook you can see your tags here as well and finally you can see folders now in folders you can go in folders you can uh, you know do everything that you did in the notes in the folders as well so you can create folders within folders so it's a very well crafted fully featured notes app from samsung and it's available for free on all galaxy devices and i would highly recommend that you download this app if you haven't downloaded it on your galaxy device and use it for your note taking you can sync it up with one notes as well it's a brilliant app and uh, the best thing about it is that it's free available for free for samsung users so that's about it from this video guys i hope you have enjoyed this video and it was useful for you if you've liked it give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one till then take care Bye bye